the story of Adam and Eve in paradise. It is one of the most important stories that has been transferred throughout generations. The Old Testament in which Jews and Christians believe mention this story but with a lot of temperation that led to a dogmatic uh, wrong ideas and misleading ideas. These uh, mistakes are not marginal, but it is a very pivotal mistakes. They call it the original sin. And what do you know about the original sin? Which is the basic of Christianities. Many things Allah has created before creating man. When Allah created Adam and Eve, everything was ready to receive both of them and to receive their generations. The globe became covered with forests and green plains, trees, grass, which provides food and energy. It became full of animals from various species, some of which are domestic, others are wild, without which man cannot live. For example, like bees and animals. In brief, when man made his first place on the earth, everything was ready to receive him. In the concept, in the Islamic concept, the creation of man happened sometime in the last six days of creation. When we talk about the six days of creation, we are referring to those days which are mentioned in the Quran and the prophetic tradition. Six eras of creation and not in the literal sense. The world was nothingness. There was nothingness in the beginning. Science is talking about the period then the universe started at a sudden through great explosion. This great explosion, through, through this great explosion, we had energy, time, place from that time. We will talk, God willing, about this great explosion and about the eras, the six eras that came after until our days in a future lecture god willing so in this lecture we will not indulge in details but we'll say in total the universe started with the great explosion but in stages the first stage was the stage of formation of stars and galaxies. The second era is the formulation of the globe in a special way. So it is a planet which is different from any other d d planet in the universe. Until now, nobody knows that there is any kind of life apart from our planet. In the second era, also, there will be continuation to the first era. And the third era is again a completion to the previous two eras or stages. In addition to the creation or formation of the seven heavens and the beginning of life on earth and among those lives who happened in that area are mankind. The second and the third era are, are these things that can be seen. While the seven heavens uh, belongs to the world of unseen that none will discover in this life. The globe which we see, the universe which we see and we study and we study through telescope it is only in the nearest heaven, which is the smallest part of the whole universe and which is the core of the seven heavens.
Blessed is he in whose hand is dominion, and he is over all things competent. الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور. He who created death and life to test you as to which of you is best indeed, and he is the exalted in might, the forgiving. الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا. ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور And who created seven heavens in layers You do not see in the creation of the most merciful any inconsistency So return your vision to the sky Do you see any breaks? ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب إليك البصر خاسئا وهو حسير. Then return your vision twice again. Your vision will return to you humbled while it is fatigued. ولقد زينا السماء الدنيا بمصابيح وجعلناها رجوما للشياطين وأعتدنا لهم عذاب السعير. And we have certainly beautified the nearest heaven with lamps and have made from them what is thrown at the devils. and have prepared for them the punishment of the blaze. In addition to animals and plants, there were two types of creation, angels and jinns. Angels and jinn are or belong to the world of the unseen, which we cannot see or feel or we even don't know except through revelation. The angels are a creation, are created to be obedient, fully obedient to Allah. Allah has delegated to them many tasks. A lot of these tasks to, to make life easy for human being on the earth, on earth. وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكُمْ لَحَافِظِينَ And indeed, appointed over you are keepers. كِرَامًا كَاتِبِينَ Noble and recording. يَعْلَمُونَ مَا تَفْعَلُونَ They know whatever you do. كَلَّا إِنَّ No, indeed, these verses are a reminder. So whoever wills may remember it. It is recorded in honored sheets. Exalted and purified. Carried by the hands of messenger angels. Noble and dutiful. Jinns and their uh, are, uh, resembles uh, angels in the sense that they are aware or they are, but they uh, look like uh, humans in the sense that they are obliged. to abide by Allah's teaching and Allah's religion. In other words, they are not used or accustomed to obedience like the, jinn, like, uh, the angels. Humans and jinns are those who are, have duty to do apart from other creation. خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار. He created man from clay like that of pottery. 
وخلق الجن من مارج من نار. And he created the jinn from a smokeless flame of fire. فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? We will attend to you, O prominent beings. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? O company of jinn and mankind, if you are able to pass beyond the regions of the heavens and the earth, then pass. You will not pass except by authority from Allah. Iblis, Satan, he was uh, from the jinns and he is not from angels. He played a big role in the story of Adam and Eve. He was created before Adam and Eve for so some times, in which he lived among angels pretending to be good and pretending the absolute obedience to Allah and his order, but he was hiding something different. And instead of being grateful to Allah, he used to consider this as one or some of his rights out of his arrogance. And this uh, characteristics of arrogance uh, our pride, which Allah forbade him not to do, this characteristics was not apparent to the angels who used to live near him and who deal with him. But Allah, glory be him, the knower of the unseen knows that. So Allah decided that this characteristic of this Iblis will be shown and known to the angels. So Allah made ordeal, ordeal for the angels and for Iblis in order to show that Iblis will fall down. وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ كَانَ مِنَ الْجِنِّ إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ كَانَ مِنَ الْجِنِّ فَفَسَقَ عَنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّهِ and mention when we said to the angels, prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated, except for Iblis. He was of the jinn, and departed from the command of his Lord. Then will you take him and his descendants as allies other than me, while they are enemies to you? Wretched it is for the wrongdoers as an exchange. We will talk about this ordeal soon, but allow us or let us to talk again about the creation of Adam and Eve. The Islamic dogma which all messenger has brought, have brought is clear and it stipulates that Allah does not need or in not in need of any of his creation, even the angels. Allah does not need them, for he is the all-living, the all-dominant, the able, the rich, whom the creation need, while he doesn't need his creation. But he created angels and has delegated to them certain task 
that they should do, not because he needs that, but because he wants that. And he is all wise, all knowledgeable, which has the absolute wisdom and absolute knowledge. Allah has created human beings, has given them the upper hand among all the inhabitants of the globe. And he gave them talents and characteristics which different from other creation. Allah has given them, for example, the ability for taming some of the animals. Allah has given them also for tilling and planting the soil. And he has sent to them messengers and scriptures and canons that if they follow or abide by, they will be qualified to do this important task and that selection. In Allah's law, prevention from corruption and the messing up with planting. Uh, beside human being harming each other. Uh, many verses in the whole Quran have talks about this. Some of these verses states that all creatures were created out of water. أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أَنَّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ كَانَتَا رَتْقًا فَفَتَقْنَاهُمَا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ أَفَلَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Have those who disbelieved not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joint entity? and we separated them and made from water every living thing. Verses which states that Adam was created out of soil or out of earth. it is he who created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then from a clinging clot. Then he brings you out as a child, then he develops you that you reach your time of maturity, then further that you become elders. And among you is he who is taken in death before that, so that you reach a specified term, and perhaps you will use reason. Verses which gathers the two substance, soil and water, which say that Adam was created out of earth or soil. فاستفتهم أهم أشد خلقا أم من خلقنا إنا خلقناهم من طين لازب. Then inquire of them, O Muhammad, are they a stronger or more difficult creation, or those others we have created? Indeed, we created men from sticky clay. Uh, other verses describes the earth or soil in its early stages and other verses describe it in advanced stages until this soil became uh, hard uh, resembling pottery with a smell وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صَلْصَالٍ مِنْ حَمَئٍ مَسْنُونَ And we did certainly create man out of clay from an altered black mud. 
خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار. He created man from clay like that of pottery. وخلق الجن من مارج من نار. And he created the jinn from a smokeless flame of fire. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? In one day, in one of the debates with some of those uh, atheists, uh, some they objected to those verses for two reasons. The first objection that human being and there there is no then there is the element of silicon is not in their synthesis while silicon exists in a big quantity in soil on earth how can that be this is from their point of view their second objection that humankind and their creation in their creation a lot of carbon element while this element does not exist in soil or earth. In other words, those atheists, they want to say that the Quran made it or has uttered two mistakes in the creation of Adam. The answer to such uh, accusation is clear. The verses in the Quran did not say that Adam was created from all earth or soil, but Adam was created from part of earth or soil, that Allah has extracted. So when we know that, when, that it was Allah who extracted that part, we'll come to know that Allah is all knowledgeable, all knowing, who created silicon and created carbon and created mankind. When we come to know this and realize this, all doubt and suspicion will be removed. Secondly, the verses, the Quranic verses, when it described the earth or soil, it described that it has smell and, and sand doesn't have any soil unless it contains elements organic elements in brief anyone who traces the verses in depth with wisdom with wisdom and insight who will come to know that the creation was a part of the soil and this part of the soil was mixed with organic compounds with this doubt and suspicion will be removed we we'll go back to say that Allah has created Adam from certain part of the soil and from water. Then it turns and mixed uh, in, in the shape of earth with a smell. Then this earth and soil passed through different stages until it became a clay, then like a pottery, then it was transferred as a mankind consisting of blood and flesh. Then Allah has breathed the soul inside mankind and it moved and became animate or living creature. Allah stipulated that he will delegate to Adam and his descendant the, to care uh, to care and to look after this life, in other words, to look after the earth in the sense of blowing and offspring, implantation and dairy. The second that angels will know about this role assigned to Adam because they will have a lot of roles to play in relation to mankind, even if mankind do not believe or do not feel this.
so Allah has created Adam and he told the angels about the task that Allah will delegate to Adam and his descendants and since angels are obedient creatures so they asked Allah about his wisdom that when he created creatures who do not have the ability of angels and in response Allah has clarified to angels in his wisdom that he put them into a small test he showed to angels certain things then he asked them what are the names of such things for example Allah has shown them a wooden pot a saw and something like this we say this in order to clarify the idea and not to specify or concentrate on these things angels did not see these th things before and uh, they are not part of the angels what the, what the angels use and know the benefit of so when Allah showed this thing to Adam Adam looked into this he came to realize about these things and this, for example he talked about the pot and he said this is a container that I use for water and uh, and this is a knife through which I cut fruits and vegetables uh, this is a plow that I use for plowing the earth and I call it blower or plow uh, and this is a saw that you use to cut trees and we call it a saw so here angel came to realize that Adam is talented to know about what he is in need of to make use or fill use of earth and all what is surrounding him from the creatures then Allah ordered glory be to him the angels and Iblis to prostrate to Adam it's not a prostration of and the kind of worship but it is a prostration of honoring honoring prostration and obedience to Allah glory be to him